Right now I have the Galaxy S3. I wasn't really planning on buying this phone, but what happened was my Galaxy S2 over here started power cycling, and it's pretty crazy because the phone will be sitting there, and then all of a sudden the power will go on. It's almost like it has a mind of its own. I tried everything I could to fix it, but nothing was working. I really didn't want to bring it into the Sprint store. I'm not in the mood to go in the store and hang out there for a long time trying to get a phone fixed. I just want to have my phone working. So I went ahead and got the Galaxy S3. It's a pretty cool phone. You notice over here it has these ripples when you touch the screen. Let's show you that. I thought that was pretty cool. And then also you have these other features, more important, like S-Voice. I'll show you that for a second. Set alarm to 8 a.m. Hi, Galaxy. Search for pictures of dogs. Web search pictures of dogs. Now, it'll give you some pictures of dogs in Google, but I thought it was even better. If you use a Google search and you say pictures of dogs, it will actually populate just Google images, and I thought that was even more helpful. Other than that, on this phone, I mean, I like the fact that you have more options for widgets. You have a flashlight. I thought that was interesting. I know there's apps out there, but this is just a widget where it's on the phone and comes with it. It's a cool phone, but the games do lag a little bit, and it might have something to do with the bloatware on the phone. I read somewhere where you can remove all this stuff. I'm not sure if I want to root this phone. Right now, I just want to keep it as is. There is is a Jelly Bean update coming. They say quarter three or quarter four, and that basically means in a couple of months that we'll have Jelly Bean on the Galaxy S3. Hopefully less heating on this phone. On the back, it's this plasticky backing. It's a nice finish to it. I mean, it is plastic, but whatever. It's a cool looking phone. This is the Pebble Blue, 16 gigabytes, by the way. Also on the Galaxy S2, you have this backing that's plastic, but this is textured. And that's something I did really like on this phone. Both have eight megapixel cameras, bigger screen, of course. So the Galaxy S3 over here, got the bigger screen. Another feature I thought was interesting is the face recognition. You have this feature where you're looking at the phone and the screen will not turn off because it recognizes your face. You also have S Beam where you can tap two Android phones. You can just touch them like this and transfer information, say like a picture, information about a game so that person can go to the market and get it. That's another cool thing about this phone. It's a really good phone. If you never owned a Galaxy S phone, I've owned the Galaxy S, the S2, and now the S3. Obviously I like the phone. Holding the Galaxy S2 compared to the S3, the weight of the phone is a little bit less and you do notice it. If you have an S2, I don't know how long the phone can last. I wasn't really doing anything that extraordinary with the phone. I just want to say one more thing about this phone. When I, well the phone, my phone just turned off on so that's the Galaxy S2 by the way. I did want to say one thing about buying the Galaxy S3. There was no confusion that it was an iPhone or anything else, but that it was a Samsung phone. This is something that Apple is telling people, releasing information to the courts and they're saying a bunch of different things. The argument that people are saying, wow, they're so similar and everything else, they're night and day. There's so many different things about this phone compared to the iPhone, it's not even funny. We're getting so far away from what the iPhone is. You have to check out someone that's using an iPhone, it basically is like this. <laughs> It's two of these Samsung phones. Okay, maybe a little bit less. It's like rectangular looking. If there's any curve to it, it's a little bit, but the material is what? Like a metal, whatever it is. And it's got like an industrial feel to it. It is what it is. It's an iPhone. For people to be comparing this to Samsung phones, it's just ridiculous. If you do have a Galaxy S2 and you are thinking about upgrading to a Galaxy S3, it is worth it. And I think you'll be happy with it. And it's going to be even better with the Jelly Bean update. And that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.